Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Nellie Murph Designs. Oh, I almost just fell out of my chair here. Um, I'm going to be working on more of the JoJo's Adventures, Bizarre Adventures Junk Journal. And over the weekend, what I did was I pulled some, let me just set this aside for a second. I went ahead and I pulled my muslins that I ordered. I cut some little pieces to make tags with. Um, I went and I wanted to try, I bought this ribbon, as you know, um, from a previous um, video, and it was wire trimmed. And I received a great comment from Michelle over at Tape and Twine. And she told me that you can remove the wire. It's very easy. So that's what I did. This is now wireless. Um, I'm going to be working with the buttons. But, and then this is my to-do list, what I want to do some videos on. But what I did was I did some ripping on the material that I showed you. Um, this here, which I just love. It's so pretty. Have this here and I do have the Etsy shop name um, in the description of my previous video so I went and made some pretty little I call it ribbon ribbon uh, material just reminds me of ribbon candy so I don't know the correct terminology I'm not up on all the correct terminology I have a tendency to give things names that I remember and that I can relate to. So I just, you know, started a little strip and then I just ripped the material. And that's how you get your frayed edges here. It's very easy to do. Um, and then I did, instead of the zigzag, I went ahead and I did a really cute little um, flower stitch all the way down just to give it a little bit more oomph and a little prettier. So I made those and I will set those aside for now. I just want to show you um, some of the things that will be going into the journal. And then I did work on, I just wanted to do, you know, as much sewing as I could. So I had purchased this at Hobby Lobby. This is really, really, really fun ribbon. And I wanted to, these are going to be, these folders will be going in the center of the journal. So I went ahead and I sewed these on and I went and I clipped the tops before they'll go in. So I have this, I have all of these here, which I think are just cute as a bug in a rug. And you'll notice that on this one here, I did the a little chain down. So when it's in the book, these will be sticking out a little bit. So I worked on those. What else did I do? Oh, and I did finish getting the images, the pages that I wanted in the journal. So when we do put it all together, it's going to be, it will look like this here. So I finished deciding where I wanted to have my pages. And then I went ahead and I ran off. I've used this in my Christmas journals before. And I, I have to write on lines. I'm not real good at writing on blank paper. So this is the start um, of the um, graph paper and journaling paper that I ran off and I attached in the book here. So I thought this would be fun to decorate. And I do have an idea. This I left blank because I, I like writing 
on graph paper. I just find it very satisfying. And my, my reasoning for putting my graph paper and writing paper across from the actual book page is I don't want any art to interfere with uh, this fantastic art. So I will just use wherever you're going to see, wherever I have a book page from the book here, all right, um, I will have my journaling pages. And then this here I will either collage or create belly bands or pockets. So this is the this is the first signature. And then this will be the second signature. So the first part also I did with Rohan and Kashibi. Or no Kashibi and Nanasi. Um, so sec, which is mostly the, um, blacks, beiges, kind of like your orangey colors. The second, in the second, sig second signature, excuse me, um, it's all of the turquoise and pinks and more about the Louvre and Paris. So again, I'll co we'll collage and do some artwork on these. Um, I'll be doing more. And this here I left. You'll see why. This was a page that I, I wanted to have in here. It was a spread of the Louvre. And I really like this little bit here. And I may put a little envelope or something here that will flap back. I don't know. I want to do something fun with this. So that's why I didn't cut that down. And you can see part of the Louvre there. And then there's Rohan there. And then again, um, in my previous video, I had spoken about this page here, and I really liked this image. And I was going to scan her and use her again somewhere else, but I thought it would just be kind of fun to fold that over. And I have the part of the page um, that I'm going to adhere here that went with this. So I can just kind of open it up. It reminds me of the old Mad Magazines um, where you folded the pages. and So I will be attaching that there, and then that will just fold over like that, and then the image there. And more journaling pages. I'm trying to make my journals more into journaling actual journaling books um, and I love this page here where they're walking through the Louvre to go to the basement with these the pinks and purples and the turquoise so that's signature that's the second signature um, so I'm going to set those aside and Today I'm going to first thank you for joining in, for following along, for commenting, um, and to all my new subscribers. Thank you. So if you want to stick around, today I'm going to make a belly band. I'm also going to show you what I did on my Sizzix machine, what I'm going to be working with, um, and we will go from there. I'm also waiting for my contractor to come. He has to come and take care of something for me today um, and then I have to take him up to my neighbors because she wants some work done so I figure I'm just going to get into the meat and potatoes of this and I'm going to see him drive in my driveway or my girls are going to go ballistic and start barking because he's at the back door um so in my first signature in the first signature here I want to use I love this image um and I want to make a belly band and it may end up turning into just being a pocket that I can slide something in. But I'm going to be doing it on the orange here. And I want to complement the yellow flowers on here. Um, I could do it on black. I could do it on a beige. 
um, but I also this morning I cut out on my Sizzix um, a lot of flowers. I went through my scrap heap and I pulled out some scraps and I wanted to use some really bright, the bright pinks um, it, in different areas of this book. This is a glittery, which I think is really pretty. And then um, what I'm going to do in my next video, because I, I won't have time today, but what I did was I cut out, I have a really pretty um, spell binders. I don't know if you can see it. Let me bring it up here. This is what the image, it's, it's just a Japanese, um, it's like a Japanese garden with the little lights and you can also get a, comes with candles. Um, I made a beautiful, beautiful card using this at one time. So what I decided to do, this is one of my favorite, um, what do you call them? Uh, dies I guess you call them dies and then the other one which I mean I, I just showed you but I use these all the time as they fall to the floor is this Tim Holtz one here and I know a lot of people have this but this is one of my favorite all-time favorite and I go back to it a lot um, oh and look at that I put that in huh. lo and behold I didn't I didn't take out the little, well, well, I'm glad that I went back in here to show you because I didn't remove this one here. And this is a pretty pink one, another pink, okay? So I'm just going to set that over there. Um, but this is one of my favorite die sets, and I do use it a lot. I use it in my... I even use this in my um, December daily. And then the other thing I wanted to share with you before we work on the belly band is I don't know if you all have this. And here's a great idea for you as well. Um, I cut these out, this particular, the Japanese um, garden scene. I did this on watercolor paper, and I want to watercolor this. I could have very easily cut this out on scrapbooking paper and then just put it on, but I want to try to do, like I said, some different things. And um, so I cut this out. It's a little bit thicker, you know, cardstock. So if you're going to use something like this with your Sizzix, I, had, I went through this three or four times, just back and forth, back and forth, just to make sure I got a really good clean cut. Um, and then I'm going to save this, and I'm going to use this as a stencil down the road. Um, I think this would work out really well to use as a stencil. So don't throw away once you do a, a die cut. Don't If you like what you see, don't throw it away. Use it as a stencil. doesn't cost you anything. But the other thing I wanted to show you is this is a magnetized um, platform, okay, for my Sizzix. And I don't know, some of you may not know that they make these. And I just think these are really, really cool. So when you are working with something that you want to put two or three things on, and you know that sometimes you can put your um, little die cuts on and the minute you put this your top sheet on it they start to move around but with the magnetized one they don't do that listen see they stick they stick right on there and they have a really good hold so you can put a few things on at once and see they don't come off they stick right on there and then when you put your plate on, 
just want to make sure that they're on however you want them. Once you put your plate on, they don't move. And then it's much easier to run through your Sizzix machine. So see that? So if you don't have, they just don't come off. If you do not have a um, magnetized platform, get one. It's a great, it's a, it's a very good investment. Um, so that's all I wanted to show you on that. And these I'm just going to move over to the side here. All right, so let's get going on this belly band. It should be fairly quick and easy. All right, let's get these. I know I want to use the black. I want to use these two items. I want to use this. I want to use some of my muslin on this. And so I'm just going to try to figure it out. She is cut to the right size okay for my page so I don't have to go back and measure um, so I'm thinking this if I use I'd like to use the black I mean I thought about using the black like this and then using the gold but when I use my my flowers here they're going to get lost in the back I should say they're going to get lost in the black. So I, what I'm thinking of is doing this. I will put her maybe over like this a little bit. And I just kind of have to play to see. How I want to do this. And I don't mind if some of this gets lost in her hair. I don't think it's a big deal. And the other thing I was thinking is actually running this possibly a little bit, not all the way up, but running this to the side. Running her there. Maybe attaching this onto the muslin. And then I know I want to put this. I want to put this up here like that. So I think that might be the way to go. Um, so let's try that. And again, I am not going to use glue on this book page because I don't want it to... Um, crinkle or sometimes I just don't like the way it looks so I'm going to use my tape runner and you'll notice when I when I do sometimes I don't start at the very top because it will flip back um, Sometimes I start in the middle. I gotta get this out of my way. Sometimes I'll start in the middle and then I just flip and I go back to the middle and I go to the end. Because again, sometimes I've crinkled the paper. And then I don't like the way it looks. So. Okay, so now I have to think, because once I put this down, it's down. So, I think I will move this. It's better, and here's another tip. If I go, if I think I want this much, and then it's not enough, there's nothing I can do about it. So, I'm. you can always cut... You can always cut off your paper, but you can't add paper to it. So I'm going to give it a little wider border. Because like I said, I can always cut more off, but I can't add to it. And just by the look of my eye, it looks like this is coming in a little bit. So I'm going to have to make that adjustment too. So I do know, and again, I'm going to... I'm not going to cut this, and I'd really like to try to explain why I do certain things. 
Um, I'm not going to cut this all the way up to here in case I want to make this into more of a, a pocket instead of a belly band. So I'm going to leave a little bit here. And then I'll also be able to work with this flower a little bit better. All right. And then once I get this on, then I could always trim it again. Um, so, okay. Already I can see it's not cut straight. It's driving me nuts, but I will, I can take care of that. Um, so what I'm going to do is this, I'm just going to back it off a little bit. And that looks like it's straight now. So all I did there was um, I lined I lined this part up here, and then I just backed it off. So I knew I had a little bit I had a little angle there that I was actually cutting off. All right, so we have that there. This one I may have to do the same thing, but I may be able to take care of that with the black. So, let me get the cage, and I think I'm going to cut this right down because this longer, we're not going to be using that longer section. So, let's just get rid of that now so we have, we can really... We can really take care of this bottom. Okay, so there's the proper size. And I'm going to do the same on here to try to level that up. So I'm just going to line this up here. And I'm just going to draw it back a little bit. Just a little bit here. Okay, that's good. All right. So now we have this here, which I know I want to put on here. So we're going to put that on here. And I'm going to use um, my squeeze. What's this here? The Zig. It's Zig Memory. Um, oh, no, I'm not going to use that one. Sorry. I'm going to use this one. This is Zig also, but it has more of a, a different tip to it. And I'm going to get a scrap out of my garbage here. I'll get an old envelope. Just had to go turn the thermostat up a little bit. Usually I have it running about 67 degrees in the house, but we're having below zero weather right now and it's just too cold. It is just too cold. So I had to turn it to 69, which Sometimes that's too hot. I wish they had like a 68 and a half or 67 and a half. Oh, there's my little paddle. Where's my paddle? There it is. And again, I cover it up and use a 
um, envelope to adhere because if I were to go like this I would probably catch this under here and I would rip it up so that's why I do that all right so we have that one on and then I'm going to we'll add a little bit of black just to um, And if we make this into a pocket, let's just see. Okay. I just wanted to see there where, where we were going to go with that. And then I wanted to add. And even again, if you're if you're going to use a ribbon or whatever, you don't have to worry about your piece being um, off kilter because you can straighten it out using the ribbon. This I'm just going to turn upside down just so I can kind of get a grasp on what I want to do here. Bring this over a little bit. We can glue that right on there like that. I think that'll be good. All right, so let's get this down first. And I'm just going to, with this here, I'm just going to make a little mark here so I know to cover that up. really like the colors um, in this in this book it, it's going to be you know vibrant even though we have some of the blacks going on it's just going to be I think it's just going to be really pretty so I know I have to trim this off and again what I'm going to do is I don't want to trim anything off the top here I can afford to trim a little bit off the bottom so I'm going to put this towards the top. And this is another little trick that I do um, if I want something to really line up well. I just put my paper here. Here's my mark, okay? And I just need to cover that a little bit. And then I just butt it up to the top. So then I don't have to worry about it not lying. See how well that lines up? So that's just a little tip that you can do um, when you're putting something down. All right, so, and I think on this side, I will leave just a little tiny bit of black. We'll, we'll see how that looks. Just a touch. There. All right, there we go. So there's our pocket so far, pocket, pocket belly band. Let's trim the bottom off here. And then we will adhere the, and I don't want any black to show, so I am gonna bring this up just a little tiny bit and take that whole bottom section off there. Just, just that smidgen, just that little tiny bit and it will still fit the page nicely. All right, so now I could stitch this on here if I wanted to, um, but I don't want st any stitching to come anywhere around the, uh, the writing. So I am just going to tear this okay I'll take these little extra frays off add some up there ah it's sticking to my sticking to my sweater this sweater that I wear, it's old and raggedy. Not really, it is old. My mom made this for my dad. 
she knitted this many, many years ago. And um, I want to make sure that I get this. I don't want to have the writing upside down. There we go. Um, hold on here. this way there we go that way right I believe it is that way all right I'm going to check on that just to make sure because I don't I'm going to check on this I would think this is I think your lines are on the top, but let me just check real quick. Okay, so as best I can research and do it, it goes this way. This is right side up. So I'm going to put this over here a little bit more. This I will be gluing down because, like I said, I do not want to... Um, have any stitching on that to take away that beautiful writing. So I'm going to get whoop, get some glue on here. And this I think I'm going to have to clean up because this is just a mess that glue. Let's get this right about here. All right. So we have this on. Then we are going to put this flower on here, so right about there. And I'll get her in the page. I think we'll be about. We will be about set. And if you haven't one of these, if you don't have one of these fun little Ziggy, I call, them, I call it my little Ziggy, um, glue pens, you can get these also. You probably find these at Amazon. I got these at Michael's years ago um, for my scrapbooking needs. So I'm going to start right about up here. I can get that down on here. Fold this in half. I'm not shaking the camera. Sometimes I get a little vigorous here in my um, rubbing. Okay, so that is down. I'll throw that back in the trash. I'm just going to clip this off and then we'll put it in the book and I think I think this will be good. I think that's I think that's pretty. I like the little bit of um, outside here. I should probably get these all in the book. There's no reason why I can't. I'm just wondering if I want to um, if I want to. Oh, I may want to clip this a little bit. I think I'll clip that so you can actually see that it's a pocket. I 
I say clip, but what I really mean is punch. So I think I'll just punch this a little bit right about, I'm just eyeballing it. There we go. And I'm going to put that, and again, um, I think I will glue this down, but what I'm going to do, uh, yeah, I think I'll just glue this down. Where is my, oh, it's downstairs. Um, I guess I'm going to have to, I did some gluing yesterday downstairs. Um, but I'm going to wait. I want to use my art glitter glue to glue this down. And I don't want to take another break and have to walk away. So um, I'm going to call it quits. And I will run down and get my art glitter glue. I will line this up. And that is our first, one of our first pages in the uh in the journal i think that i think that's really pretty so i hope i gave you a lot of things to think about today between um using your die cuts which sometimes your die cuts are totally overlooked um we're going to be doing again uh, watercolor painting on this which will be a lot of fun you can keep your your uh, papers and use as um, templates for your stenciling and a different way you know I started out wanting to do a belly band but then I'm just going to have this be a nice little um, pocket so thanks everybody for joining in I really enjoyed working on this piece here and I will see you in my next video alrighty bye bye